Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. I am Mega Freak 400, and last time we, uh, or last time I, uh, was working towards getting my items back after the Toke took them all from us because, I don't know, I, it was really, I guess they just, they saw us there and they took our stuff because, you know, fighters keepers. But anyway, um, yeah, we, uh, now still have not obtained all our stuff back, but we can actually, um, be getting most of it back this, or should be getting all of it back this episode. Uh, and I'll need to get the power bracelet back so we can, um, continue forward in that one cave. That, ca that cave is actually, ironically, the most obnoxious of the, um, parts of this, because you have to pretty much go in there first, uh, with the bomb. You have to use the power bracelet to get, obtain the bombs to bomb the wall down. Then you need to use the rocks feather to get to the, um, flippers in the cave, and then you need to use the power bracelet to dive to a spot, um, that you can't get because there's rocks in the way. Or I can't get to without the, uh, without the power bracelet, rather. Anyway, um, after this we should be able to get, use both the power bracelet and the, uh, rocks feather because, um, because I believe this is where the seed satchel is located. find out if I'm correct. Okay, I am. Hey, you're the one who I... Yes, you robbed me. Give me back my bag. And there we go. We got our seed satchel back. So now we can give um, the mystery seeds to that guy for our feather. And we can actually continue forward now because that one cave I showed off uh, last episode that you need to swim in... Oh, wait. Ah, I need to go... I need to go, um... Push that C or yeah, that bean back. Um, but that one cave needs requires both the power bracelet and the rocks feather. So we need to go and uh, attain the rocks feather. And at this point, we're pretty much home free. There's a few obviously loose ends that need to be tied up, like getting our shovel back just for the sake of getting it back. Cause you don't. Well, actually, no, you do need the shovel technically. Actually, not remember, but um. Shovel team seems to get uh, actually a lot of use in this game. Some actually is a deep, well, no, it's actually just kind of a throwaway item in Link's Awakening. This game actually might be the game that uses the shovel the most, possibly. Unless I'm forgetting of one. This game, or maybe maybe um, seasons, but the ages game in general. Well, I guess if you count the uh, mole mitts, then no, because the mole mitts are, I guess, technically a shovel, and those ones are really... Th those items are useful. But, uh... Shovel itself, typically, is just like, okay, use this to do one thing, and then you never use it again. Here, though, you actually do use the shovel, um... A f I don't know if a lot, but at least there's one more time that you use the shovel. Surprisingly. The good old trusty shovel. You know, I almost want them to come up with more, like... I mean, they've been doing pretty good about coming up with kind of unique items for Zelda games, uh, to an extent, like the whip and, uh, spear tracks in my band is really... You know, it's simple, but I like it. But I'm wondering rather... Like, obviously there's, like, the wind bellows, which is basically the gust jar, but, like, uh, in, like, Skyward Sword... It's not really the wind bellows is in a new way, but there's some things in Skyward Sword that are somewhat... I think are new way... Well, actually, does Skyward Sword have any... The, okay, the beetle. But the beetle was kind of a takeoff of the boomerang, but um, just a different kind of. It was originally supposed to be the boomerang, and instead it's now the beetle. But um, instead of like having kind of like really. Oh, wait, where is the uh, spot? I must be up there. I can't get there then. Or maybe not. I don't know where it is. Or maybe on the beach, actually. I don't know. But instead of having really like fantastical locations, they should just. Um, um, okay, wait, no, I need this shovel, so I actually have to go to the other spot on the other side of the beach, because I do need the shovel for something. There's something else I was thinking of, but I do need the shovel for, the shovel for this. But, um, instead of having, like, all these, like, kind of magical items, that, like, you know, the claw shot, something that can't happen, I'm, I kind of wouldn't mind seeing more just practical items in Zelda, like the shovel, um, being introduced. Because, like, the wh whip is kind of like that. can't really think of any off the top of my head, but, um... I don't know what, like like the screwdriver or something. Which I guess the screwdriver might like not like 
but like, like in terms of using it for puzzle, not like an actual screw, but I guess it would be kind of similar to actually it would be kind of similar to the top, the way the top is used or the spinner is used in Twilight Princess, not the top. Um, anyway, we are now back in the present time, um, which I do like the fact that they, again, I, 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 as much as I like the um, the uh, colors in the past to make it look like the past, I do prefer the colorful present personally because color makes me happy. Um, but yeah, this place is pretty pointless. It's just the uh, basically the Toke game is now just a museum of what used to be the Toke game. Because no one plays the Toke game anymore. One, two, three. Is that a lot? This is the most pointless Toke on this island. I don't think that there the, I don't think there was a purpose to that. Anyway, yeah, our scent seed is now made, and there's a uh, spot up there, I believe, to plant a um, um, gasha seed. And those chickens are now grown up, which I would think they're be more than just grown up. They'd be like. Since that's ancient times, they'd probably be like the descendants of the other little chicks. But um, no, sent our sentry is now grown up, and now we can hit sentry. Heh, <laughs> sentry. Uh, but the, yeah, the, the scent seed tree is now grown, and we can actually get scent seeds to get our shovel back. Anyway, this guy. This is a cook, and we can actually give him the stink bag, which your guess is as good as mine of what, as what's in the stink bag. Rip sniff. So yeah, we we made him smell nasty, nasty stuff. But uh, it's actually going to help him because he has a stuffed up nose, and now that he is been horrified with uh, that smell, his nose is no longer stuffed up because he can actually smell it. It basically it was so putrid that it actually penetrated his nose. I was gonna say nosal cavities, but I don't think that's a thing. Nor do I think it just penetrated his nose basically. Um, so now he will trade us up things so he can actually have access to the bag, and he'll give us meat. So that is, um, now furthering our trading side quest. That is good. We'll be completing that, actually, not too long. Well, it'll be a while, but not not too long, actually. Because uh, you complete, complete it, um, after the fourth dungeon. Or to know after you get the item in the fourth dungeon. If you want, to, well, if you want me to be technical. Like, I do like being technical from time to time. So yeah, this is why you need the bean seeds, so you can actually get around better. It takes a long time for trees to grow. The same goes for that vine that you climb down. I don't see what the point of that is, because we already know that. Because that's why we're in the present. What would... What would... I, I don't... Why... I don't, you know, I don't know why they made it, made that um, him stop us, then to say that, because it was something that was kind of already obvious. I guess the one thing is that, I guess the thing is that vine would always be in that place, but the one that I just climbed up wouldn't. So it was kind of being like, okay, yeah, well this one's going to be here, but you need to make sure to place all the other ones um, in the spots. But some already mentioned that in the past anyway. Um, so we now have our uh, set seeds. Scent seeds, basically, if you use them, you can uh, attract a bunch of enemies. I never really use them for that purpose. There's another purpose I use them for, um, which won't be relevant until uh, next dungeon. But, um, yeah, scent seeds, just, I never use them for luring enemies. I'm sure they might be useful for that purpose, but um, I just don't use it. I, 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 don't, I don't see that purpose as being very all that... Um, Useful, I guess. I don't. See, I never see need to gather enemies in one spot. But uh, we'll plant another gosh seed, and we will now head back to the past. Actually, since we need to go get our shovel back and head to the next dungeon. Well, no, the next dungeon is technically in the present. Um, the uh, past is actually. Um, it is not available in the past. <clears throat> Surprisingly enough. Because we've done most of the most of what well, of getting to here in the past, but the dungeon itself is in the present. Okay, and now I can. Okay, I didn't get the hoop back, but now I can actually get my shovel back. 
or get bolt all my items by giving him the scent seeds. And yes, all of the items, except the, the shield, but that's besides the point. We don't need the shield! What has the shield ever done for us? Except shield us. Okay, so now it's time to head back through that water cave so we can actually get to the spot on the other side of the island where we can um, play the Harp Ages. And now we're, we'll finally be able to actually access the third dungeon after like, what was it, like four videos or so of this? Of, of, um, I don't know why I could have combined a few of them, but I, I like doing this in the smaller chunks. I, I'm definitely going to continue to have the dungeons take up one video, because that makes sense. But I do like dividing it up a little bit into more of like, I guess, not eatable, but like more of digestible um, chunks of like, okay, here's what you do in this segment, as opposed to like, let's put everything, because with n no time limit at this point, technically one, one video could equal one Let's Play. I could do this all in one video if I want. But no one would want to sit through that long, having an hour, like a four, six hour, I don't know how long this game would take, but like a, a 12 hour video or something, no one's going to want to sit through that. But if you divide into chunks, then even if it's the same length, they'll be more likely to want to sit through it. This is why movies turn me off, personally, whereas I, as opposed to TV shows, which I could sit through for like five hours and keep watching and watching, because they're bite-sized. Just having things divided up makes people more likely to, um, less intimidated, I guess. Um, but I guess there's also, it, it depends on the person, too. And obviously you can, like, stop the video, like, if it was a 12-hour one and, you know, start it again. But again, like, it's a psychological thing to an extent, I feel. At least it is for me. Okay, I think, th I don't know if that, um, spot serves a purpose that time warp. If anything, it might, um, lead to that one beach segment in the past that had the gotcha seed spot, but I don't really... Oh, there's a fairy that I don't need. Okay, so then I must go up to get to the dungeon, but, uh... I'm not gonna really worry about going back in the past for that one spot. But, uh, for the most part, th their dungeon is just up ahead, so I will probably end it around here, because, uh... Yeah, I'll start the dungeon fresh next video. But I have been Mega500, and next time we will do the Moonlit Grotto. See you guys then.